Hi, boys and girls. We are back again for another story time. Can you guess what our story is about today? You guessed it. Blues on strike. So I can't wait to find out what this story is about. So let me go ahead and get started. Blues on Strike by Jennifer Jones. Do you know what it feels like to be squished, held upside down and squeezed, to be patted hard on your bottom any time a person pleased? To have the tip of your nose twisted or pressed hard against a page, to be grabbed and pressed and pinched nearly every single day. Well, for us, me and my fellow glues, that's exactly what it's like, which is why we got together and decided we need to go on strike. We simply had enough of being beat up every day, being used and abused in nearly every single way. One afternoon when the kids were getting ready to leave their classes, they toss us bottles, sticks, and tubs carelessly in our basket. We decided to tiptoe over, tip over to the paper pile and grab one of the teacher's pens. We wrote out all our grievances in a letter and hoped that soon the abuse would end. Dear students, we hope you find this well as you're having fun at lunch. We have some things to tell you. Let's start with how we're sick of being crunched. You squeeze us in our middles until our plastic is weak and worn. You pick and rip at our labels until they're tattered, loose, and torn. You shove our tips in your noses where they seem to fit so snugly. We don't think this is funny. No, we do not take it lightly. The worst is when you decide to taste us because of our scent and color. I guess sometimes we look like a marshmallow and you want to have us a supper. You twist us up and smash our insides without a second care. You press us into pages hard. Well, do you think that's fair? And what about our friends the pace? You treat them poorly too. You bend and push their bodies. This is not the way you should treat glue. So that's it. We've had enough. From this day on, we're going on strike. If you need to stick two things together, you can try tape if you'd like. We will not be here for your projects or your crafts or work at school. We are not coming back to help you until you realize you've been cruel. We left the note on the teacher's desk and waddled to the back of the room. We huddled in the corner behind the classroom room. The kids didn't notice at first, not until they sat down at their desk. They started working without us, glues, trying to do their best. But then they realized, but then they really needed some stuff to stick and the directions called for glue. So they looked around the classroom for us, but they didn't have a clue. Kids, look at this. I found a letter, the teacher said as he read the note aloud. The children listened intently and didn't make a sound. Then the students grabbed some pens and paper and they wrote back to us as a class. Glues, we promise not to mistreat you anymore. If only you'll come back. We didn't realize we were hurting you or treating you carelessly. But now that you brought it to our attention, we truly feel very sorry. We accepted the apology and joined the students back at their desk. And we were never again mistreated. It all worked out for the best. The end. I hope you like the story about blues. And we'll see you next time. Bye.